Hello all, welcome to Dell Bummy Trainings. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we invoke a SOAP visual surveys from Dell Bummy. So in this particular sample, we are mimicking a process of doing a, performing an operation like inbound interface from inbound interface to Oracle. So we are considering the file from local system as an input to the web service. And we are calling a create supplier operation for a particular web service. Okay, we'll just see what are the components or what are the shapes involved in this one. So what do you learn in this particular demo is like you'll understand how do we invoke a SOAP visual service as well as how do we pass the data to the web service. So from Dell Bumi perspective, what are the shapes involved is like uh, we are using as web service call web service shape and the map shape as well as a disk operation, disk shape. So we are reading the list of files which are with extension .xml and for each particular file we are invoking web service, okay. So like a disk sample we discussed earlier also in some of my previous samples and web service SOAP is the first time we are discussing in this particular demo. I'll, I have provided all the screenshots regarding the web service SOAP but I'll try to show a real demo so then you know we can easily understand what exactly we are trying to cover, right? So I'll just go to the demo directly to the Dell Bumi instance. So this is my final process how it looks like. So here I have start and then I have a disk operation called read file which reads the data from this particular location. So from the invoke soap, this will read the list of files which are with the file extension .xml, okay? So it will read n number of files. Now what I can do is I'll add up two more files, two, three, okay? And maybe I'll just rename it properly so that. So I'll name it as three and I'll name it as four, okay? So I'll just open these four files using my notepad because I just want to enter the appropriate supplier name. So my payload is very simple. I just have only three parameters, supplier name, tax organization type, as well as business relationship. So this particular web service which you are using is from Oracle Cloud ERP. So there are a lot number of parameters, but for this particular create supplier operation, there are only three parameters which are mandatory. So I'm just entering only those three parameters, okay? So I'll just say data LX SI and here data communications Aditya Abdullah and ATL. Okay, so these are my four suppliers I'm expecting to be created. So maybe we can also check before clicking on our sub, uh, web service what I would like to do is I'll show you from Oracle cloud perspective whether this data is already available or not or maybe we just want to see the latest suppliers which were available right so as of now Infosys was the first supplier it is showing the latest supplier I mean to say and the creation source it is clearly telling it is from web service I just tried it before providing a demo now what I can do is maybe it will take some time to get refreshed what I can do now is so I'll just try to explain you all the shapes. In the start shape, we don't have anything to have technically. Just click on, if you just click on configure, it's just a dummy one with a no data operation, right? No data shape. Now here comes the important one, read file. So here if you observe the read file, what I'm trying to do is I'm extracting the list of files. Action is get and the connection is supplier payload connection. So in this one, I'm reading the list of files from my invoke soap folder. And the operation here, if you observe, I'm reading all the files which are with the file extension .xml. Okay, so these are two important properties we have to understand for the disk operation. Which location and what is the naming naming convention as well as what is the action? Like is it a get operation or a put operation? Right, get or send, sorry, get or send. So get is for reading, send is for writing. Now the next thing is a pale mapping one. So I want to map these, I, I want to map my input to the web service stuff, right? So what I've done is, so before creating a map, what you do is create a sub, create a SOAP operation because you require, you require a payload, uh, what do you say, like uh, a payload mapping. So if I just click on configure here for this SOAP operation, click on configure, I have connection, op connection as well as operation, right? So click on connection. So here we have to mention the visual URL, SOAP endpoint URL, as well as the username password for this particular web service authentication. So the difference between Visdel and the SOAP endpoint URL is in the Visdel, you'll have a ending as Visdel, question mark, Visdel kind of thing. In the SOAP endpoint URL, you doesn't have the 
question mark visible that's only difference and security type for this particular web service it was basic authentication so i mentioned basic authentication and mentioned the username password details and the next one is yeah so operation what we have to do is a web service can have n number of operations but in that particular so which operation you would like to invoke it so what you can do is if you want to clearly understand which operations you have for a particular visual the best thing is invoke your visual using the soap ui tool and identify what operations it is having and how does a payload looks like so in my case i just did like this initially before starting with the demo so i just click on request it will clearly tell me what are the parameters are available i prepare the payload and test it everything is okay then start with the delivery process okay now once this particular soap connection is done what you do is then prepare the prepare the mapping so in the mapping if you here if you observe click on configure so i'll just click on edit so the left side is the the input payload which i am passing so here if you observe this is my input payload and the right side is my destination payload so here if you observe an in input payload what I, what i have done is if i just click on this one right so i simply click on import the payload file and automatically create all these data elements okay and the same way here if you observe for this one right so i just click on import and i selected the request payload of the web service if you just click on import right so here if you observe not this one sorry cancel yeah as it was already there it is not showing but generally what i have done is i can show you again maybe one minute so i'll let me create one more mapping then you can easily understand let's say test map click on plus symbol here if you observe and i click on choose what you do is so here click on xml and now it it is asking the request profile right so until unless you create a web service request payload web service one it will not show those profiles right that's that's the reason before creating a map you just create a web service web service related one and you'll have a request, select the request one so it will show all the information for you so and this particular request payload map it to your source payload okay so that's how i have done it and also for for this particular one right so if you just click on here yeah it shows a request profile and response profile right these will get created by clicking on import wizard when you click on import right so what will happen is let me show you so when you click on import so for the visual which we mentioned you have to mention the local atom here and select you this one and connection mention the supplier soap connection and now once you click on next it will validate the it will provide the list of operations which are available for this particular soap and then you select the appropriate method so i have the screenshots here yeah once you click on import it will ask you which particular it will ask you which atom you want to execute and then it will show you which method here here it shows which object type nothing but which method which operation you want to invoke and then select the appropriate one and it will create a request profile as well as a response profile which are xml profiles because this will the input as well as output of a soap web service is a xml file right so this is the final process so now here if you observe yeah i'll just click on cancel here i don't want to disturb this one yeah i'll just click on save now the expected expectation is if i just click on invoke xml these four supplier has to be created right so let's try so maybe i hope yeah no it is not refresh yet maybe i can try this one data okay if you can table you so this is a bi report of my cloud erp so maybe what is the expectation is that whatever data we have in our cloud erp this will get shown here so i mentioned the cre order by creation date descending so the latest supplier should be available here so now let's try i'll just click on test run test and see what will happen so there are many other ways of implementing it implementing this particular solution in this we just i we just did in a very simple way in real environment you need to tweak it a lot maybe you require a validation you require a transformation also but in this one i just have a very simple payload and just map it to the web service directly but in real world it could be a little bit different okay but the process is same so the process what we have followed is same but 
you would need to add up more number of validation. So in from Oracle perspective, I'll call this as an inbound interface because I'm pushing the data into Oracle. I'll call it as inbound interface. So now I'll just go to here. You can also click on stop process. So you should see around three positive responses, right? If you just click on this one, right? In the stop, if we just see all these three things, expectation is that those supplier names are not available. Hopefully it will create them. So if, if it is success, then it means that it is perfect. Yep, cool. Now I'll just go to my BI, click on view. I should see the latest three suppliers, Tata LXI, Tata Communications, as well as Airtel. So yeah, so this is a sample for invoking a SOAP web service of Oracle Cloud from Dell Bumi. So this is an inbound interface sample. You can add up a lot number of validations here. So maybe other ways, like what you can do is, in some of the requirements, you may have an outbound interface. The only difference you may require us, instead of calling the read data first, you just call the read data later. Nothing but what we have to do is like uh, you need to invoke a so you need to invoke a web service which will get the data, map that to the destination system, or maybe the destination disk, FTP or local system, whatever it is, right? So that's that's the only difference between inbound as well as outbound. Thank you.